All right, well, here we are again, looking at the best option when it comes to hanging something on your wall when no studs available. I'll be testing six different anchors and going over which is the strongest and best value. Some of the anchors in this video are closer to a commercial level. If you're looking for a more common, smaller residential anchor, check out my first video by clicking at the top or at the end of this video. To answer a few of the questions I had, I used brand new anchors bought with my own money. I used them on a brand new sheet of drywall. If you do see extra holes or tears, it's because each anchor is tested three to four times to ensure the accuracy. With all that out of the way, let's start testing. First up is the wall claw. It's rated at 90 pounds. This is the only anchor that doesn't require pre-drilling. It's simply tapped in using a hammer until it's flush. For each anchor, I'll be showing what happens inside the wall. As you can see with the wall claw, it can blow out the paper on the other side. But once the screw is tightened, it pushes the anchor to the side, allowing it to grip more inside the wall. After attaching the test bracket using the included screws, we'll test the anchor. This anchor is rated for 90 pounds, which is surpassed, beginning to fail at 119 pounds, finally failing at 164 pounds. And next up we have the blue plaz plug anchor. This anchor requires a 3 8 hole pre-drilled into the drywall before pushing the anchor in flush. Once the anchor is pushed in flush, you can attach the screw. It goes through the center of the anchor and when tightened, the wings expand to grab in the wall. Through multiple testing, I found about 50% of the time, pushing the plastic anchor through the wall would make it go crooked and the screw would miss the center, causing the wings to not deploy. I'll be testing it with the wings deployed, but keep in mind if that happened, it would reduce the strength of the anchor. These ones are rated for 80 pounds and it began to fail at right on 80 pounds, finally pulling out at 152 pounds. Next up is the Easy Anchor. It's a small white threaded anchor that screws into the wall using a screwdriver. It doesn't require pre-drilling, but I do recommend a small, small hole. This anchor is one of the better ones for residential uses, but when removing it, it can leave quite a large hole, so it's always better to push it in the wall rather than remove it completely. Inside the wall, you can see the anchor being threaded through the drywall. Once it's tightened and flush, the screw will go through and split the anchor. The Easy Anchor is rated the lowest at 75 pounds, but doesn't begin failing until 149 pounds and finally fully failing at 208 pounds. This large metal anchor is just called a hollow wall anchor. It also has a version available for masonry. This one is for drywall. It has a center bolt that separates into two pieces. It does require a 3-8 hole drilled prior to pushing it in flush. Once the hole is drilled, the piece without the bolt simply pushes in until it's completely flush with the wall. So here it is being pushed into the wall. Once it's all the way in, you can put the bolt in. As the bolt goes in, this anchor will expand to have several arms holding inside the wall. We'll attach the test bracket and for the testing on this one, I took several tries to get them to fail. They all became loose at about 198 pounds, but complete failure was a little bit tricky. It varied since usually the bolt broke out of the anchor long before the drywall would let go. Final failure across multiple tests ranged from 102 pounds all the way up to 300, which is what my scale maxed out at. Next up is the toggler snap toggle. This anchor requires the largest hole, needing a whopping quarter inch hole drilled prior to turning the brass base sideways and inserting it into the hole. You have to push and pull on it a few times to get it to sit flat. Once it's in, you slide the collar until it's flush with the wall. Then finally, wiggle the straps until they fall off. A Little bit more of a process than the other ones, but now you have your anchor. Inside the wall, you can see why you need to push and pull on it to get the base to sit flat. Once it's sitting flat, you can tighten the bolt down the center and you're ready to go. This anchor is rated the highest at 265 pounds. It gets pretty close as it begins to tear at 225 pounds with a complete failure at 279 pounds. All right, and finally our last anchor is a toggle bolt, also known as a butterfly bolt. This one requires a 3-8 hole drilled also, but for this one, the thing you're hanging needs to be on the bolt when folding in the wings and inserting it into the wall. And so depending on what you're hanging, it could be tricky to have it pre-attached before you insert the anchor into the wall. In some cases, you can use ready rod with a nut and a washer on the end, but in this case, we'll fold the wings in and push it on with the test bracket already attached. So this is what it looks like inside the wall with the wings deploying across the hole and the bolt being tightened down. 
Now this anchor is designed for an outward pull, not side loading like these tests. Since we are side loading the toggle began to fail at only 32 pounds, with complete failure at 95. The reason is it's a small bolt in a large hole, so side loading is really only testing the bolt on the side, not the anchor. If we were pulling down from a ceiling, so the direction away from the drywall toward the camera, it would be a different story. Which of course would require different tests and different competition. So here is the results based on an overall strength only. The important number from the test is when the anchor began to fail, not the final blowout. No one wants a sagging shelf. As soon as it starts to let go, it's useless. And here is the ranking with the cost per anchor. The toggler was the strongest, but left quite a big hole behind and cost double what the hollow wall anchor does in number two. Now if you're using an anchor in plaster, you want to expand the anchor, like the hollow wall anchor that rated number two, or the blue anchor that rated number five. Just be sure to get the correct depth of anchor for the thickness of the wall you are drilling into. Look for an anchor rated to use on masonry or bricks. So there's no perfect anchor. If you can't hit a stud and you're hanging something heavy, use the strongest anchor possible. All these anchors, for the most part, exceeded what they are rated at. Uh, the easy wall anchor for residential drywall is worth taking a look at and should be mentioned. For its size and cheap cost, it held a lot of weight. If you need to remove the anchor soon or regularly move it, or hang in something light, like a picture or a small mirror, you can use a smaller straight anchor, which I tested in my first video. So click here and check that out. Thank you for watching.